Yes guys and welcome to RG Handhelds. Thank you for joining me today. Today we're taking a look at a very special item. Uh, it's the U console dev kit. Well not a dev kit but a kit. Uh, this is basically a very nice hand portable Linux handheld as you can see in the picture there. Comes in two colors, silver and black. I've waited a long time for this to come in. Uh, finally came in yesterday. Not had a chance to open it up, um, so that's why I'm doing this unboxing, quick unboxing video here. Uh, U console, made by Clockwork, a real fantasy console. You can see the U console kit. Um, this is the CM4 version. Um, I've ordered it without a core, meaning there's no CM4 device in here, um, because I have my own. Uh, so... I'm going to quickly get this open, just show you the box. Highly hackable open source equipment. Uh, nothing on the back apart from the logo, cool little logo and open source, open source hardware, open design, highly hackable, easy assembly design. So everything's just built modular on this, just to snap in, uh, no soldering required guys. Let's just get this thing open. Don't want to damage the box if I can't. There you go. And that is the device itself. Comes in a kit format, you can see, um, which is pretty cool. And your manual. There you go. Quite a big little guide. I won't go through it all, but it's basically telling you how to assemble it step by step, which is very good. Um, what else do we have in here? So, just taking the cover off here. Um, it is a metal, I believe it's anodized. It's got a very nice um, matte finish on it. Very nice indeed. The black did come out very nice. So that's the front cover, I believe. I'm just going to put everything on the side here as I take it out. Some thermal pad for you there. Going to need that for sure. What else do we have? I believe is the back cover in here. The back cover assembly. Pretty uh, snapped in there tightly. There you go, that's all anodized metal as well. You can see the venting on there, it's very, very nice for that cooling. Let the air flow in, I mean, you're not gonna get much, but hey, it's something. Um, you got your speaker points here, this is where the speakers mount. And obviously your core and everything is built on. Let's just put that on the side. I will assemble this today. These are all the little bolts you get, which you put the thing together with, which is pretty cool. And I believe this is the battery back, the back housing. You can see there on the back. So you have a middle chassis here, and this I believe is the back chassis, the back piece. Uh, seems to be a few marks on it already. Not sure how. Uh, you can see there. I may have to uh, chase that up with them. Not sure if the back is meant to be black or silver, but I'm sure I ordered the black uh, device. Uh, should this not be black? If it's the rear cover. That's something else I'm going to have to chase up with them. Uh, you got the keyboard assembly here, guys. You can see there the black keyboard. I'm not going to mess about with this too much. Uh, you have the uh, stand. This is a stand. So I'm just going to put everything aside as it comes out. Uh, again, the keyboard assembly here. Uh, 
and you have the screen over here seems to have a cover on it for protection and there's your ribbon cable gotta be very careful with that one uh, and the screen is there that's the model number put that aside see what we have in the next one. Oh, you have your 4G I believe Wi-Fi antennas and 4G antennas here these pieces here So gonna need that as well. And what do we have in there? A main board. This is the actual main board. Version 3.14, I think. And you can see the module. That's a CM3 uh, module slot, um, which you can put uh, the A6 core in, the A0 R R01 core in. Uh, and then you buy an adapter to place the uh, CM4 core in there as well. Uh, that's the rear of it. There you go. Clockwork. It's a cool little board there. It's got everything labeled as well. So that's another thing. Uh, I believe I bought the 4G antenna. So oh, this is the 4G antenna, your SIM slots just slots into there. That would be interesting to get this working. So that for sure I will test. Uh, I believe they also missed the uh, CM4 adapter in, in these. This is the battery module, 1865 batteries, uh, a pair of them you can put in there to power the device. So that's that and what else do we have uh, some mountings you have your little blackberry style trackball I um, don't know if you can see that it's a bit hard to get out uh, let's just show it like this so that's your blackberry trackball type thing which is just a, a little nub uh, your speakers are here, so they just drop into place with a bit of sticky. Looks like another antenna there, maybe the 4G antenna. I'll have to look at the manual and some sort of metal plate there, which I will find out what's that all about. And simply what I'm going to do is drop in a, a CM4 that I've already got ready here. I may have to take these heat sinks off, but uh, this is a 4 gig version, uh, the light version you can see there CM4 light uh, if you have one with the EMC um, built-in memory apparently you can't use it for external SD um, it doesn't uh, switch over to external SD hence I got this one without uh, any EMC uh, so that'd be interesting and for batteries uh, I already ordered them a while ago uh, some 1865 batteries these are meant to be really good there you go uh, 18650 batteries 3500 milliamps 3.7 volts and they are really good make of a uh, little color so I bought a set of these while I could so I'll be definitely trying them out and that is it guys so I'm gonna find out about the back cover I'm sure it's meant to be black but I could be wrong uh, it's silver and there's also the missing item is uh, the adapter that you actually fit this to they already have admitted that they uh, uh, forgot to add it in the factory the adapter that this plugs into onto the main board so uh, apparently it's been sent out, but I did manage to source one off eBay. I was hoping it'd come in today, maybe a bit later on. But what I'm going to do is get this thing together and I'll get another uh, video review done. Uh, uh, but I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you soon.